Crazy. That's what I heard. Just plain crazy. Heard from who? And who said what? People. Here and there. Just what I thought. Here and there. In your imagination. My sister Maggie worked with Reverend Jenkins many times over the years. And she had nothing but wonderful things to say about her as a pastor and as a teacher. And I've heard her speak many times. She was wonderful. She was funny. And yet she can send you flying into the heavenlies at the drop of a hat. Crazy. Deacon Spires, what do you think? Well, I think we need a pastor. And since our budget is just about zero, no one else seems to be interested. Well, speaking of pay, how much do you think she'll want? Hopefully, not too much. Because I heard that she inherited some money from both her parents and her husband. Heck, crazy shouldn't cost us anything. Will you stop it? Baby, <laughs> something's got to change. Because we keep doing the same thing over and over. And our church is dying. Are we comfortable with that? Then let's go tomorrow and ask her. Face to face is always best. Deacon Spires, you have that casting thing. The rest of us will go tomorrow morning early at 8 a.m. Wow! Somebody sure left us something and plenty of it. This sure is a far cry from Fluke, Louisiana. Maybe she won't ask for any salary at all. Hopefully she won't want the job at all. Well, we won't know one way or the other unless we ask her, will we? I don't know, maybe she got some, I look like some cows. So this is where she lives. Mm. Nice house. That's a nice house. I hope she's. Well, here goes. Here goes crazy. Help me, Jesus. She's ugly and crazy. Oh Lord, they both ugly. Stop. Don't rob my dog, mister. He's been militarily trained and right now he's in attack mode, so watch your mouth. I'm going back to the car. Stay put or you'll be eating takeout for a week. Baby. No. Reverend Jenkins, please forgive Deacon Hall, but we are all a bit nervous about being here today. Reverend Jenkins, I'm Mary Hall. This is Mama Scott, Deacon Raglan, and my husband, Deacon Hall. Hmm. Good morning. Rem Jenkins, we're from the First Light of the Southern Light Holiness Temple Emmanuel Sanctuary Church, and we need a pastor. <laughs> I don't know about a pastor, but you're trying to say that thing fast three times. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry, I am being a pill, and I truly, I apologize. A pastor? There have got to be a lot of young deacons or elders or Bible school graduates that would love to pastor your church. The problem is we have a small church and our bank account is even smaller. Wow. So in other words, he was brutally beaten, horribly crucified for us, and yet folk don't want to minister to his people without a big paycheck. Ay, ay, ay. Please, Reverend Jenkins, we're like sheep without a shepherd having no one to lead us. And we've heard some good things about you. Would you at least consider coming to our church and talking with us for a spell? Y'all, I'm retired. And I really want to spend the rest of my life just, just writing. But you don't play fair. You go straight to the heart. All right, how about one week from today, 10 o'clock in the morning? And seriously, I'll spend that time seeking the will of the Lord. Is that all right? Well, one week from today it is. Okay.
I just want to say that dog is not militarily trained. <laughs> and I just want to say that ain't the dog. <laughs> now I'm going to the car. <laughs> if I could just learn to behave. <laughs> Have any second thoughts? Good morning. I'm in here. I brought back these books I borrowed. Mm. You don't look too happy. Anything to do with that car that just left? They need a pastor. For some reason, they decided to stop here. A pastor, huh? Didn't I tell you God was going to call you back to the pastorate? Didn't I tell you he wasn't going to let you spend the rest of your life sitting here writing? Didn't I tell you you're a royal pain in my neck? Come on. I want to hear every detail. Well, listen, I was holding firm, really holding real firm until this sweet little deacon looked at me real pitiful like and he said, Please, Reverend Jenkins, we're like sheep without a shepherd having no one to lead us. Oh, my heart. And then I saw this vision of a desert and all these little sheep. Somebody just shoot me. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. Lynn, you were born to minister to people. I've watched you in about every situation. I've seen you go after an abusive husband in a way the couple calls Satan himself to turn and run. The next minute, you were sitting there holding the wife, rocking her like a baby. Your tears were dripping down her head. And I say, I hate abuse and I have such compassion for those that are abused. That's why you need to be in church leadership. God's gifted you with a pastor's heart. You need to get out there and use your gift. Uh.